Hi, how you going? It's Steve from I'm Enough Coaching and uh, I realise over the last couple of days that I haven't done a video blog for uh, a couple of weeks now, so uh, not very good, poor me. Um, so I thought about what could I talk about and then something came into my mind that's inspired me this week, which was uh, feedback from a lady who was trying to refer a client to me and the client said to her when she checked my website, she says, oh, that's pretty basic and... Um, bit dodgy was one of the words that they used and I thought to myself hmm yeah I need to go and have a look at this and I realized when I was actually doing the website that uh, it wasn't the best I could do and it was more of a means to an end it was me trying to learn how to do it but now I've got more skills I actually took this feedback on board and I went and designed a, a brand new website I deleted my old one completely and uh, did a brand new one and uh, made it look much much better much more professional and <clears throat> that's what I'd like to talk to you today about is feedback you know how do you receive it are you seeing it as criticism is it a personal attack upon you or are you seeing it as an opportunity for you to be seen through somebody else's eyes and for them to give you the feedback and the opportunity to be able to enhance to be able to adapt to be able to improve and to to uh, to be better at whatever it is they're giving you the feedback on now a lot of people within the workplace actually use this as a, a tool to um, hit back to cause pain really you know to to other people whereas if feedback is, is used correctly and is nurtured properly and delivered then people can be mentored through their, their their work experience through their training and things like that and it really becomes a very powerful tool um, the first thing that you need to work out though is how you as an individual are going to react to it because that's part of the, the you know the main thing in life is how we react and how we we take on board information and then what we do with it so you have to be open to feedback if if you want to use this this means of of information so you know you have to accept when feedback comes that it's not a personal attack that it's actually somebody who's trying to help you to uh, give you a different perspective and to open your eyes to a situation that you may not be aware of just like i wasn't with my website and then what you need to do is to be able to have a look at that feedback break it down into its component parts and then to take massive massive action on it so start moving forward and that's what i did so within a day of getting that feedback i'd actually built a brand new website <clears throat> i'd linked it all up to my social media and even more than that i'd made it all look congruent so all look the same so every um, page has got the same banner headline on it it's got the same logo on it and it looks much more professional so i'm hoping maybe that client will come back in few few weeks time and have a look at my new website and go actually he's actually done something about this um and that's a sign of his professionalism if they don't then so be it but i hope that other people when they get to look at my website will uh see the difference um and see that it's uh, much smarter sleeker looking and i'm always looking for more feedback so if you've got the opportunity go over to www.iamenoughcoaching.com and that's where you'll find my website and please have a look send me an email and um, give me some feedback on on your thoughts about it and be more receptive to feedback in your personal environment and what's going on in your world so that's what i wanted to say something else that's cropped up over the last couple of days as well is that taking massive action you know if you're not happy about a situation you can constantly blame other people you can find other reasons why it's not your fault but ultimately, you know, generally, it is. There's always the excuse. If you take responsibility for everything that you do in your life, and I mean absolutely everything, then you can start to take control of absolutely everything. And that could make the difference between having a successful lifestyle and having a non-successful lifestyle. If you're happy to blame other people, if you're happy to find excuses, you know, that you're not feeling very well, or that it's not my fault, or it's circumstances beyond my control, then do something about it. Take control of those circumstances. You know, this is your life. Blaming other people is not constructive. Okay, it's destructive. It lessens your self-esteem, it lessens your self-belief, it lessens your self-worth. So, take responsibility for your life. Move up to the next level. You can do this. Everybody can do this. It's all within inside you. You just need to dig deep and find out who you really are. That's pretty much all I've got to say for today. So those two lessons, you know, 
take feedback in a positive way and do something about it and don't be blameworthy and don't blame other people for everything that goes on in your life take control seize the moment do something about it all right have a great week i'll speak to you soon <laughs> i'll try to remember to do a blog more often it's one of my weaknesses something that i really need to work on okay guys have a great week thanks very much for watching i'm steve barker from i'm enough coaching cheerio